welcome to today's video my name is Irma if you're new over here to my channel today's video I'm going to be sharing an easy little way how to bring some warmth and coziness to your bedroom for the fall um, so we're going to be working with just items that I have I'm going to go ahead and start off here with my bed so if you're not new over here on my channel, you know, I always like love having white comforters on my bed. And I actually wanted to purchase a new one, but it just wasn't in my budget to purchase a new comforter for my bed. So I'm just going to go ahead and work with the ones we already have. So it's just like a budget friendly way to spruce up and bring the coziness to your bedroom um, and starting off with the bed. So there you saw I added my white comforter. Then I got this one that um, the girls usually have in their room. So I actually switched out the one the girls have and I went ahead and threw this one in the washer and now I'm just gonna place it here on the edge of my bed just to give it that more like of a layered textured and look to our bed. So I'm starting off with the white one and then this brown one. Then I'm gonna bring lots of pillows in to give it more of that cozy vibe i just feel like blankets and pillows just it just gives you that coziness that you're looking for so it's you can always like never go wrong with pillows so here i started adding pillows i have my white pillowcases then i remember i had some brown ones that were in the trailer like our camping trailer so i actually went and got those also and then I decided to go ahead and pull back like the white comforter and there once again you see me adding the um, white pillowcases and then these are the brown ones that I had in our camping trailer so I went to go get them since we're not going to be using the camping trainer like anytime soon. So I went ahead and took those out and I'm just trying to just like refold and fluff up the white comforter just so it gives it like that really volume is like imagine going like to a furniture store and you know how they have like the beddings made they just look so soft and like plush and just so cozy so that's kind of like what I'm going for for our bed like because like I mentioned it's just I feel like lots of blankets and pillows just bring that coziness so I'm also to trying to figure out how to do this because it's like something new that I'm doing with adding so many comforters but I wanted to go ahead and give it a try so I'm just working with what I have just trying to go ahead and get it arranged and set for it gives that cozy vibe then um, I over here I found these other brown pillows that were in the girls' room but like I mentioned since they're not using their brown comforter I went ahead and grabbed these also so I do have a multiple white ones and brown pillows and all of that and like I mentioned I am gonna do it like for fall but I didn't have like a fall themed pillow or pillowcase to put on my bed. So I just left it like that. Then I found this other comforter. And this one actually was like two twin size um, comforters. Just that what I did is I had sewed it together to make like one huge one. But I like that this one has like that really different texture on it. Like an antique vintage quilt so I'm going to go ahead and start over here at the fireplace, although I would have wished I could have had like a garland to add here to the top part of our mantle and also to our headboard. I'm just going to go ahead and just add this basket some amber glass bottles. One of the amber glass bottles is actually just like a recycled one and then the other one has like my lemon essential oil and then topping it off with some fall decor and also this piece of garland that's from like the Dollar Tree and I just used a can of brown spray paint to just like lighten up the colors a little bit but that's how this little tray is turning out I think it looks so cute and adorable with the little squirrel and of course the little pumpkin there but now moving on to the other side of the mantle this one I'm not gonna lie I did have a little bit of a struggle because I didn't have like another amber glass bottle and I wanted to mimic like kind of like the same like to make it like match pretty much um, for each side of the TV but I had to play around with this side for just a little bit then I remembered I had a white jar and although it's not like the brown one to go the same it's still like a jar where I was able to put like my wheat stems in there so I went ahead and put that there and then I still tried to play with this pumpkin and put it here but definitely it was not working so I'm just going to go ahead and remove it, 
then I'm gonna bring a squirrel and then a pine cone and then finish it off with another piece of um, the leaf garland though like the one from the other side that I mentioned was from Dollar Tree So now for the center part, I need to find a way to hide these cords because they are not pretty to look at. So once again, I'm going to try and work with these metal pumpkins and try and use it. But of course, it did not help much. So at the end, you guys will go ahead and see how I went ahead and switched it up. But for now, I'm going to move on to our dresser. So here, I'm just going to decorate like this little corner over here. And I just put like this little tear stand. Um this I believe I got this stand like many years ago from the Target dollar spot then I add one of my plants on there and then this metal pumpkin this one I actually found it on a curbside um, and then after that I'm just gonna go ahead and put in this picture frame so this picture frame I think it's cute and I love the tones of the colors that it has and it's like a very antique picture but this picture frame I actually found it just the way like exactly the way you guys are seeing it inside one of the drawers of my hutch when I picked up my hutch from a curbside also and then I'm also going to top it off with a little white pumpkin. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to our nightstands. As you can tell, our nightstands do need a little help. Um, they are very old already. I got these for free off of Facebook Marketplace a while back. But I just want to break off the contrast from the dark leg of the lamp and the darkness of the, like the little nightstand top. So I went ahead and found these two baskets in my garage. And like they're not exactly the same but they're like the same tone and once if they're not side by side like you really can't tell but this one here on this side you can see the one I'm placing now is actually a little bit taller than what the other one was but I went ahead and put them underneath our lamps and my husband has like the remote to the TV on his side I have the fireplace remotes on my side plus my watch charger and then I try to do a little bit of decor you guys saw over there on my husband's side but it wasn't looking like something like I liked it so I just left the tray so I have this little sofa area here where I normally like do jealous hair in the mornings or we put on our shoes on and all of that so I just wanted to go ahead and spruce it up a little bit so once again I'm bringing out a brown this is actually I think like a scarf style I don't think it's actually like a throw blanket but we're gonna go ahead and pretend it's a throw blanket and use it as a throw blanket and then I found these brown pillows although they're not fall themed pillows but I feel they still match with our bed because of the dark brown from the comforters and I went ahead and put them there and then I have a basket full of like extra throw blankets that are not even fall related but they're still like throw blankets inside there and then I'm just gonna top it off with this Sherpa white blanket from the other side it's actually like a Victoria's Secret blanket so we just went ahead and kept it on the on the white side but now here I'm going to show with you all of the afters. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to give this video a like. If you guys are new over here on my channel and would like to see more videos like this, don't forget to click that subscribe button. If you have not checked out my fall living room and kitchen decorate videos, go ahead and check those out. I actually have a playlist. I will link it down below for you guys. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye guys.